Three would-be heroes chase scaled death. The dragon rushes onward, his revenge now close at hand. Laughing from the shadows, a capricious god prepares to take its payment. For this, dear friends, is Dragon Guard. Right outside of Vern, there are a bunch of carts going by, and you are in the forest, concealed. Mm, very good. Yeah, and we're not that far from the city, right? No, no, no. We're, no, we're we're like a few hundred yards away at most. Yep, you are far enough into the woods to be concealed, and the mist is dissipating B- because because the sun is rising. Yep, because the sun is rising. Excellent. The sun rises on us today. <laughs> Yeah. So what do you what do you do? Um, I'm still a half bug, cat man. Uh, are are you half bug? I'm I I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like half he... shadowy beetle cat man. I thought you just had horns. He has horns. He lost an arm. Uh huh. Don't I have like teeth I'm things like, like dragon things breath? Too? No. Like, normal, I thought something came out normal, of my mouth, no, or maybe it's not bangs. yet. You, your, your, okay. like, exhalations have kind of, like, a dark mist to them. Yes. Um, My arm and... is misty, too, right? My oh, yeah. and, arm. and, yeah, you can, like, blow shit away by, like... Yes. You know, roaring. Fush, mm-hmm. And Fush Roda, and I got, uh... My... It's, I think it's I think it's more than a Fusro Da. It's like uh what what eraser cannon from Dragon Ball Z <laughs> like Nappa used. <laughs> like yeah. like when he opened his mouth and just went Rawr. <laughs> It's like that Deep Cut Doctor Octagonopus for an even deeper cut. Um Dang. I know, right? Remember that? Um and my arm can become a blade. Yep. Pretty cool. uh, can you tell us more about that? Is it like a like? Is it just con- Is just like oh, a mist? I have the full his... item. Yeah, do you... now. <laughs> okay. It's yeah, long. do you want the? Do you want the full? It... Yeah, give uh, us the rundown. There's a whole. Can. There's a whole thing here with this. <laughs> so yeah, it, you want to just read it? It's sort of cursed. Here, I'll I'll read it okay. and yeah. clarify anything as I go. Hit me. So, this is the armlet of Oranaster. It's a golden armlet designed to look like a circle of beetles. When worn, it feels like the beetle man- mandibles are about to rend the flesh of that particular arm. Mm-hmm. It, if attuned, which he attuned it, mm-hmm. these are the immediate effects. The flesh and bones of the wearer's arm sloughs off below the arm- armlet. The flesh animates into a crawling claw that answers to the demon that lives inside of the armlet. The wearer grows bull-like horns from their head. The wearer takes one-fourth of their maximum HP as damage, um, and their maximum HP permanently decreases by one-fifth. At will, the, the wearer can summon a, use a bonus action to manifest a plus-one short sword made of mist from their arm. Uh, the wearer also gets a breath attack that can be used once per day that expels shadows from the user's mouth in a massive line 40 feet long and 15 feet wide for 98 necrotic damage. And a, a dexterity save halves that. And there are some, like, the, the inky breath and such. Uh, however, there are additional effects for every week that the armlet is worn. Basically, each week, a new limb will slough off his body. And uh, so the first, the first week, he loses a leg, but he gets some sort of spectral leg okay. in its place. So he can still move around. Um, and he also gets the ability to spider climb, so he can just, like, walk up walls and stuff, right? Week two, the wearer gains a second Misty Short Sword, as both his arms have sloughed off. Um, and both are bumped up to plus two instead of plus one. On week three, the wearer can take an action to become invisible twice per day. 
and the other leg falls off, but movement is still possible with a second ethereal leg. On the fourth week, the wearer becomes immobile, but capable of using their breath attack at will. The wearer's torso becomes hopelessly necrotic and ethereal limbs cease to function. And then finally, on week five, the wearer dies and the demon fully manifests into the world. Oh, Mm. damn. Yeah. (laughs) That's definitely a thing. Does does Scratch know this? I think he knows that... I, I don't think he knows this explicitly, it didn't come with a manual. But he has, like, the, the yeah, sense of the demon. Yeah, it didn't come with a manual. <laughs> um, but he gets the sense that there is, like, a malevolent force and that he's, like, growing in power Can the over time. demon, or can we and him communicate with each other? Is it, like, a... Not yet. So, not yet. Okay, so we're not, like, he's not, like, talking in my mind or anything. Like, I'm not aware of, like... Or, I mean, I am, but not, like, I can't communicate with it. It, it's kind of like the Ring of Sauron. You feel compelled to do things, but it's not actively talking to you. Okay. Mm. Sounds good, right? Yeah. It's pretty strong. I mean, yeah, but also you're gonna die. So <laughs> I mean, I can, well, I can get it off. It just requires... At the, at the end it says, uh, Dispel evil and good. A spell can halt the effects of the curse on the player while greater restoration can break the wearer's attunement to the artifact and halt the effects before they worsen. Uh, Neither spell regrows lost limbs, and breaking attunement stops all powers and benefits of wearing the item. Hmm. So if we were to break it, it would have to be, like, this week. Unless unless you want... Yeah. Unless you want a, a, you know, a prosthetic leggy. I mean... That could be cool, depending on what kind of prosthetic limbs we could find. <laughs> if I can get, like, I want a prosthetic hand or an arm as my leg, so I just want, like, a body that's just all arms. <laughs> oh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying um, to be this monstrosity. Or at least another just, monstrosity. Just, over the course no. of this night, you've just fully embraced the idea that you've become a monster it, it's my it's my old friend mr mcgreg with a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg <laughs> um okay but uh that that kind of catches you all up to where we are now huh all right so you guys well, you guys have had a night to sleep on this uh this change and you've had a night to sleep on that arm yeah literally i used it as a pillow i grabbed the bag and slept on it <laughs> Oh, did you now? Was it wiggling around? I mean, like we don't have any, it was massaging the back Aww. of my head because I commanded it to. <laughs> Supportive. It, it was. I was basically petting myself. <laughs> like it was rub, uh, scratching my ears behind the ear, just lulling me to sleep. <laughs> well, good. It was worth it then. <laughs> All right, so we are now awake. It is just the three of us. So. All right. What sh- what yeah. you going to do? Yeah, what do we what do we do from here? We got to get back to town. Do we? Uh we should probably check to see what the uh what the cart noises are, don't you think? Were we supposed to meet someone? Were we supposed to meet Chuck? Nope. No. no, just, no Chuck's in town. Uh, yeah, Chuck is being hidden uh in the uh the oh, Okay. Yeah, where you apologize. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, but I don't the care cart- if it was genuine or not. You still <laughs> did it. <laughs> you can never take it back now. I apologize on behalf of all of us. It's like turns yeah. out Numsumi had her fingers crossed behind <laughs> her back the entire time. You know I did. <laughs> <laughs> Were they, weren't the carts heading towards the town? Uh, we, no, we, away we don't from the know. Or away yeah, from we don't know, know what's we, going on. We just, we just uh, hear the commotion. We don't, have, right. we don't have this knowledge. And yet. is this this is the day that the attack's supposed to happen, right? No, it's supposed to happen 24 hours from now. Or whatever. Well, whatever I thought it time. was. I thought it was. This is this is the day it's it's supposed yeah, to set out. Yeah, because I thought that. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday. okay. Yeah, because I thought uh-huh. yesterday was the last day. Okay. So it's at some point today, shit's popping off. All right. So we should probably go back to town to get ready. But, get everybody. I mean, there's uh, a dragon a in town. We know, or we, he knows most I, likely. I. I I have I have advanced knowledge that there is a dragon in town. Not a confirmation, but advanced okay. knowledge. PhD. Yeah, he gave you a creepy ass smile. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. He, gave he gave you the gave Grinch, me a very the Grinch smile. Dragon smile, but it was very brief. So my character's unsure if I have this knowledge. Did he like squeeze the crap out of your arm too? He did, but I squeezed back. <laughs> I don't know if he <laughs> to the best of my ability. <laughs> the time we were in town, we got attacked. So yeah, well, uh, those went yeah, down. Yeah, I mean they yeah. they yeah, were they did. yeah they, they were weak as hell, but I'm just saying they will probably now, try to do that again. I've got beetle powers. <laughs> you can only use you your shout once powers. a day. I mean, I'm yeah. not going to use it immediately, but we got that as an ace in the hole. So you, you know, could. We're not the same party that was there. Just I'm not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was that a Vegeta reference? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm not the same Saiyan you fought before. Oh yeah, I guess I wasn't even thinking about that. Um. All right, but yeah, since the attack, since we don't know exactly when it's going to happen, it could literally start at any given moment. <laughs> um, so we should probably be there and try to um, see where Chuck is at with his thing, as well as maybe try to evacuate some people That if that hasn't happened the, yet. Uh, the sound of carts continues to go by. Okay, so we probably shouldn't deliberate too long. Yeah, like I don't um, know if we should have time to like chase the cart, see what that is, and then go back to the town. Depending on when its attack is going to go off, but we don't know. I uh, I suggest that we um, go towards the commotion, but don't make our presence known, just to get a scope of what is happening. Like towards the carts? Yes, towards the towards the sound of the carts. Okay. All right. So they're the are the the carts are coming towards us, right? No, they're they're, no, pa- they're passing by passed, your location. They're passing, they're passing by us, but they're not like coming towards us. Okay, so yeah, quickly we should just be like, I don't know, just okay. roll perception. Yeah, so yeah, let's can can we? Okay, we move towards the edge of the woods outside of you know outside of the commotion, but enough to yeah. get a scope of what's going on. Uh, yeah, roll roll some stealth. Uh, what is that? Twenty. Yep. Mm-hmm. D twenty plus your stealth. Are you going by yourself, Marcus, to check this? Uh, sure. I have a. I got. I rolled twelve. All right. Um. So you make your way as stealthily as you can through the underbrush, and you come and you see the carts, and you actually immediately recognize these these carts that have been modified to carry quite a bit of. Um, material. They're they're full of giant boxes, a lot of them full of what appear to be cloth. And um, it, this, this uh, assortment of carts is actually quite intricate. Um, all of the, the horses that are pulling each of these carts are kind of reined in such a way using a complex mechanism that all of the reins go up to this towering two two story tall carriage um that's a big and, carriage <laughs> and you see it uh beginning to pass by you um and you can tell that Ansel Brightfellow is the one leading these carts driving the carts oh snap Hmm. Don't and like fireballs. That. A- Ansel's the the dragon man, right? Yeah. Oh. Bright Bright Fellow is uh the dragon man. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. But uh but you but neither of you have this knowledge. Only well no we Wait, we no, do have we, no, we you told us about it. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. do have this knowledge. Yes. Uh because but only I have like more intimate knowledge, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you have first hand like first hand like confirmation. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Literally first time. Uh, but, um, uh, okay, so he's okay. He's, okay, so, so wait, are, are are these two nerds with me or? Yeah. No, uh, uh, you 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 snuck up oh, by yourself. Okay. He okay. said that. You got to come back and relay this to us. Okay, so uh, so my character returns to the nerds. nerds and, uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just hey, also, I, am I a nerd with you? You look at me. Do I look like a nerd? <laughs> by the way i i should note that uh essentially the idea i have in my brain of this is like uh what he has constructed is like a train but with carts instead of along tracks okay yeah 
Well, that's just so, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. I'm sure it's all just good stuff in that train. Yeah. Okay. So I uh, I relay this information to what I've seen. Uh, I relay the information to my companions. Okay. <laughs> what? Leaving. <laughs> There's no like... telling where he's going, but... I know where he's make... going. He's gonna go get his damn crew together so they can assault the town. Let's strike. And the well, question is, what's he bringing with him? Okay, but but they're le- well, but they're leaving town. Well, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but he's, like, in the cart, so what's he, what's he transporting away from town? What's, what's that all about? Right, okay. <laughs> he took some bodies or something? <laughs> <laughs> weapons Roll. he's taking weapons yeah. to arm his his his, uh, his cobalt buddies gnome, oh, wow. gnome suni and barfus roll intelligence <laughs> right. scratch doesn't get intelligence scratch can't roll? <laughs> who needs intelligence when you got an evil god in your <laughs> demon uh, where's the uh, intelligence I got, 19. Well, I got 19 oh you are smart I'm not I'm smart uh, did you so roll a d20 and add yep. your modifier and you Red, got 19? yeah I, I rolled a 17 and plus two until i got 12 okay 11 plus this one brainiac farfus <laughs> you you recall that the map you guys uh, obtained from the kobolds has their meeting spot farther along this road and uh that the carts are traveling towards that meeting spot mm. okay so so good mm. roll <laughs> my smart ass all right <laughs> I'm, I'm just i remember <laughs> eureka whatever that means <laughs> <laughs> i think eureka could exist in this world I don't... an Can ancient it? elven word <laughs> an ancient elven word <laughs> it, uh, from the ancient eureka <laughs> she was like an elf lady maybe i don't know <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, that had a dragon in there too. Do, do I do I still have this map? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I believe you do. Okay. I pull out the map and and show and show them. It's like they're. I believe they're heading here. Today's the day. Today we have is to the do day. something. Ah, uh-huh. they must be. That's probably what they're meeting to get their forces together. All right, brothers. Here's what I'm thinking. We can either follow the cart to the meeting spot and assault them there. And then maybe nip this in the bud so they never get a chance to attack the town. But if we do that, it would only be the three of us against potentially their entire whole squad. Which, for me, would probably be, like, not much issue given uh, my latest uh, enhancements. I kind of, like, wave my ghost arm (laughs) around. But you guys, I don't know. So, another idea I'm thinking is that we could someone could go back to town maybe two of us could follow and then the other one goes back to get chuck and his team and they can back us up and follow us to the meeting chuck's spot. team of makeshift army yeah the, the ragtag that that's your plan <laughs> I mean, scratch that's basically what we're working with anyway it's gonna be yeah. either the ragtag team fights in the town or they follow us and fight in the hiding spot but that's that's all we got regardless <laughs> Same brothers. Just, just what I'm thinking. Just what I, what I'm thinking in my 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 bug cat brain. Are you like twitching while the, you you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mentally adjusting to what <laughs> happened to me. So what do you what do you think? I don't really care because I know I'm right. But what do you think? I say we strike now. But you, tall one. Um. We don't have much of a choice, so what I'm thinking is, um, uh, I have a question. Did I see? Yep. Did I see how many people were traveling with uh, Brightfallow, like in this in this caravan? As far as you could tell, there was uh, no one traveling with Brightfellow. Okay. You think we could attack him at the road so that we can get Brightfellow by himself? And then force his hand, so to speak. He'll have to go full dragon if he's going to take us on, probably. So if we can cut him off before he reaches his crew, we can just fight him in the sh- in, in the path, basically. Then we endanger yeah. the townsfolk as well. 
We endanger the townsfolk, but I mean, they're already in danger. Yeah, very true. <laughs> yeah, they're in, they're in danger by proxy of having a crooked leader. <laughs> yeah. Scratch. Uh, I want I want Scratch to roll a survival Ooh. check. I'm a survivor. Hopefully. <laughs> Give up. You better survive. <laughs> swear to God. Let's see. Uh, ooh. Oh, I didn't know that about my survival. Um, my survival was a negative one, oh, so God. I rolled a five. Oh, I did not know you're that. You're a terrible ranger. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know my, how did that happen? I never. I don't think I've, I don't think I realized that till now. Well, you my dumb, survival roll. It, it's a four. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you rolled a five. <laughs> yeah, I, rolled, I mean, I can't. Oh help my goodness! Dice. You notice, you notice that there are some birds flying overhead. Oh, how mm-hmm. useful! <laughs> Yep. Hey, check out those birds, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> totally normal birds. Okay, cool, Scratch. Thanks for pointing out the birds. Bet I can eat them. <laughs> catch okay. Them. Focus, Scratch. Can I, uh... Can I roll perception? Sure. Ooh, I got 17. Okay. Uh, you... Uh, as you're peering up into the sky at your comrade's seemingly inane observation about mm-hmm. birds... <laughs> You notice that one of the birds is seems to be much higher in the sky than the others, but is just as big. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That that's Bird. concerning. Yes, that is concerning. <laughs> so, I don't think all of those are birds. <laughs> what are you suggesting, brother? I'm suggesting that you're getting exactly what you want. Uh, Take off sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the ones I've been wearing this entire campaign. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just didn't. I didn't take the time to establish that. <laughs> but uh, so wait, if that's a dragon, is that because I thought Brightfellow was the only dragon nearby, or at least that we knew of? So. Clearly hasn't transformed yet, so we have another. Like, we have two dragons potentially we have to deal with. We have to assume the worst. Great. Actually, can I use um, prim- primeval awareness to confirm this? You may. So I'm going to use a ranger spell slot, and then I can sense any dragons within a mile of you or, or up to or up to six miles. Actually, it would be up to six miles because we're in my favorite terrain. Okay. Um, you do sense that there are... that You, you sense dragons. Do I sense exactly, like, how many? Uh, the feature explicitly oh, it... says it does not reveal their location or number. You, you sense okay. dragons. <laughs> but I sense plural dragons. Gosh. You sense dragon. Okay, there are an orgy of dragons. <laughs> the, the, your, your dragon alarm... In your primeval awareness has gone off. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> Indicating at least one dragon. Yeah. My dragon one. senses are tingling, <laughs> brothers. One, one parenthesis, one dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There might be a hundred dragons. You don't uh, know. Yeah. Well, I that's mean... bad news for us, but... um, Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. A scratch and I should go towards the caravan, and then Dom Suni should head back towards the town to get Charles and whatever his ragtag crew uh, consists Wait, of. You think it should? Be I think it should be Nomsumi and me because Nomsumi is magical. Yeah, I was gonna say I might, I might be, I might be more useful than Scratch. Okay, so oh, to to do yeah. combat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, she's got magic. So, okay, so I have the Black Bolt of Baylor. Um, and that is that is the ballista bolt. And so I have a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon, and it's intended as a specialized ballista bolt for use against dragons. Uh mm-hmm. it can and it can also be used as a spear. Is it only one though? Like it it, it is only one. Uh, but I mean, like I can like remember when I killed the dragonborn, I can just use that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So so, uh, in addition to that, this has the effect of having damage from its melee attacks, 
lowering its armor class by five and doing an immediate 40 points of damage on top of the spear's normal damage. So it's, 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 it's specialized for it's specialized for k- dragon killing. Yeah. <laughs> See, I would suggest me going back then, but then I got ultra fucked up. <laughs> and and when you go and say like, "Hey, let's get out of here," you also look like a demon. Yeah, you. You, <laughs> um, you also okay. look like a demon, so that's okay, why I'm suggesting that Scratch and myself go to uh, go to check out the caravan. If we do, um, if we do engage in combat, you know, Scratch can use his uh, his uh, demon you know, self. His big, his big shout, uh, uh, eraser cannon. I'm just gonna call it that. Um. <laughs> also, just keep in mind that the black bolt mm-hmm. only has one use of that special effect. Okay, so did I already use that or? Nope. Okay. Did not. Okay. Yeah. You can right, you can continue right using it as a weapon. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Duly noted. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, so I'm so. What my thinking is, if we're going to pursue the caravan, we should, and if Bright Fallow is there, um, with the knowledge that uh, he he is a dragon, we can attempt to end this right now, or get fucked doing it. <laughs> or I'm gonna let you guess what's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it depends on our role, doesn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> if you trust in the dice, do you, Marcus? Yeah. <laughs> I'd put all my faith. In the dice. Yeah, I, I'm trusting. I'm trusting my dice. Well, yeah, you um, roll amazing. <laughs> that's true. You don't have to trust the dice. You just have to roll. It. <laughs> Be- it's like you know, believing in the heart of the cards. <laughs> exactly. It's like yeah. the one episode with Duke Devlin. He literally said, "I got to put my heart into the dice." <laughs> 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 somehow sillier sounding than cards <laughs> yeah so so uh, the other part of that the other part of this plan is that uh gnome suni already has knowledge to where charles is she can mobilize faster um uh than you know either myself or scratch can is he still and in the same spot she could seduce she could seduce some people too and then get more soldiers yes so, so that's, I, I'm yep, going. That's I'm my going extra assume, skill. <laughs> I'm going to assume that Charles is in the same spot, but at the very least, she can talk to, uh, bartender. Yeah, the Gwendolyn? bartender woman. What was her name? Gwen? Gwendolyn. Yeah. Gwendolyn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at the very least, she can communicate with Gwendolyn. If he's moved, then she can move that way. Yeah. Uh, so you should find. So the let me too. let me let me clarify. Please do <laughs> what you're what you're planning on doing. So you're planning on splitting the party and then attacking the dragon. <laughs> yep. Well, we're gonna follow. We are gonna follow the dragon. And... I, I know that sounds like a mistake. <laughs> but hi, everybody. Jack here, your DM. Just here to put in a little editor's note. Um, the party at this point continued to argue over their next course of action for another 40 minutes, and I decided that instead of making you listen to it, I could just cut it out and put it as its own optional thing that you can listen to if you're really committed to listening to uh, these people argue over uh, how best to throw their lives away needlessly. So, uh, yeah. You don't have to listen to that, and we will get right back into what happened after all of that careful deliberation. I'm I'm making a I'm making a decision. I say that we attempt to outpace the caravan. I vote for Vern. I vote with Kyle. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Yay! Okay. okay. So we're we're going to the capital, so I'm rest in peace, Vern. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you begin walking through the forest. Or are you gonna walk on the road? I don't know. What? Um, how? How? How do you want to go about doing this? Uh, I mean, if we walk on the road, we're going the same way as the caravan. Yeah, like. like but then again, it's pretty. Can far I summon away from giant us. eagles and we fly? Fly. I don't. You, no, I don't think you. Can I think summon you can always summon normal size. Well, actually, she might be able to. I, I think oh. I can. Um. Okay. Oh no. Like, I guess check. 
All right, so for the next half hour, we're going to check to see if we can uh, summon giant eagles. Stay tuned. <laughs> we're going to debate um, which animal would be the best to, get, yeah. to burn the quickest. I mean, if, if you joke, did, but... If we, did summon, if we did summon giant eagles, how long would it take us to get to the capital? Well, I mean, um, we wouldn't have I them would... for the whole time, but it would give us a head start, and we Yeah, like, how be... far away is the... You know, like how far away is the capital? How, how far this? away is the capital by giant eagle? So, it's, it's a three day journey by foot, but I'm guessing by giant eagle, you could probably be there in two days, maybe a day and a half. I was I was gonna say you're not, pro- probably you're not a sure. lot less. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, you could summon some giant eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are. Um, so if you summon. <laughs> If you summoned four, oh. it would require you casting... Wait, why would it be uh, four? Well, because um, giant... So basically, you can summon... So giant eagles are challenge rating one monster. Okay. And conjure animals allows you to, uh, if you use it at um, its base level, summon two monsters of challenge rating two, or two animals of challenge rating... Sorry. Two animals of challenge rating one. Mm-hmm. So you'd be able to summon two of them with uh, the base third level cast. Okay. Or you could summon it at. Um, <laughs> let's see. Could we share an eagle? I just, yeah, I, I was gonna, I was going to say that Nomsuni and and uh, Scratch should share an eagle. <laughs> oh, that's that's true. He yeah. weighs less because yeah. he, he does lack he does, of an arm. Yeah, well, I, have, I, have less. Lack of an I, I got rid of some dead weight. Well, both of them weigh less. Uh, just in general, so I'm I'm the heaviest out of everyone, and I'm not. I, just, I, I don't. I, I'm not doing this. Like I'm thinking logically. I'm not doing this because I want my own eagle. I'm just saying that it, <laughs> ma- it yes, makes the do. most sense. <laughs> it makes the most sense for the two smaller characters to and then, travel together. Yeah, and then me it as just, the resident fat ass to travel yeah. by myself. I just want to. I just want to point out that I realize that I'm pretty sure we more or less promised or insinuated that we would fight alongside the Vern resistance and we're just like <laughs> up well, and leaving too late now so they're expecting now. us to come back and they're they have no idea that we're not coming yep. back so like i said we already uh, screwed over chuck once multiple times so that yep. means they're all gonna die because their whole plan hinges on like don't worry we got the dragon guard with us they should not <laughs> have any <laughs> expectations on us i mean why wouldn't it we, we told them we were gonna be there gnome suni summons two giant eagles Kaka! Kaka! <laughs> as as dragons approach their city they're gonna be like where are they we, we Bye, literally suckers. built the whole pl- we we designed right. a whole plan around them all right all right we've we've got the giant eagles let's go <laughs> This eagle sound. Okay. Caw, majestic. <laughs> so, flying up high above the world. All right. So Never. how like how high do you want to fly? Not at dragon level. <laughs> what I... does that mean? <laughs> we don't okay. want the so, dragon so to like, mess like, up, mess us up. Like at tree yeah. height, like. Double tree height, so high enough triple to not tree be, height. I high enough to not be noticeable. I want to be high, I want to be high enough to uh, like fly inconspicuously in the sense that, like, if people were to to look up in the sky, they wouldn't necessarily register that it's a big eagle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically okay, the perfect height. Um, so, would five hundred feet seem appropriate? Sure. Sure, that's pretty high. Okay. Um, so yeah, your, your eagles, uh, okay. begin taking off and you, <laughs> after you out, burden them. Over, do we fly over, over, over burn with a <laughs> hand in our heart? <laughs> Cause we know yeah, we, done. we just, we just, ha- we just like paper airplane a note down there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just that's all it says. Yeah, it says sorry, sign the dragon guard. <laughs> smiley face, like awkward smiley face. No, sorry, it's like, exclamation like a sad point. <laughs> <laughs> that's their one warning. It's a sm- it's a, sm- a sad face that's on fire. Yeah, Col- <laughs> kind of tip them off. Colon open parenthesis. You <laughs> you you uh you take off. You oh. see Vern kind of shrink below you uh, as you f- can can we fly up into the sky? Can we fly over the meeting area? No. <laughs> why not? Why, would you want to t- uh, why what not? What do they see us? We don't know what they they might have. Fucking, I don't know. Dragons might have like Velociraptor binocular vision. We're going, we're going to we're going to reach it before the caravan does. We're traveling. But I mean, if we fly over them, what do you, why? Like, what are we gonna do? Um, 
we can scope out the scene, I guess. I don't know. You I'm might sure. be getting can a little see bit that, ahead Can we even see yourselves. that far down to, dis- to like, discern, like, because we're so high? Can we, do we have binoculars where we can actually make out details? Okay, Not no. yet. You literally just took off. Yeah. And the birdies only last for a certain amount of time. Yeah, it's uh, one hour. One hour. I feel like okay. we should just commit, like, just bolt straight to the uh, capital. Okay, let's do that. Let's go towards the capital. The, the as quickest as we possible can. route. We hit the uh, we hit the auto route button. Yeah. So we get the, the yellow <laughs> path that just gives yeah. us the fastest like route. Like fast travel, but not really. Okay. <laughs> well, we get there as fast as Daenerys got to the wall. Can, can I use bardic inspiration to make these babes fly faster? <laughs> sure. She sure. sings to the eagles, whisper in his ears. Yeah. I, so I, I pet them kindly. Hope. Hotel about, California. About forty-five minutes into your flight, oh. uh, you're tra- you're flying over the uh, a dense portion of forest down below. All of a sudden, you hear something that uh, sounds off. You can all roll survival if you'd like. Uh, oh, my, my my best trait. You mean we have to if we want to live? I got uh, seven. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I got sixteen. <laughs> Okay. Uh, one second. You got to roll for both of us. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no pressure. Sorry, I got out of the menu that I was supposed to be at. Uh, Foolish. I know, oh. I know. When you said, Jack, when you said it was 45 minutes into your flight, I was hoping you would follow that up with, and now the in-flight meal has begun. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm sorry. You, you're you just about halfway through uh, Owls of Gahul. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, they're, they're really slacking right now. I don't see where my survival is. It's Under the last skills. one. Skills. Yeah, Thank it's you. like the last skill. Oh, sweet. I got plus five. So. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 13. Still not great, but better than you. Okay. Uh, Gnome Suni and Barfus, you recognize the cry as not exactly dragon but definitely draconic in nature and uh barfus you're able to pinpoint that it's coming from directly above you lovely and i'm gonna need you all to roll initiative oh no (sighs) (laughs) as a large dragon-like creature soars down from above out of the sun Hey everybody, it is your DM Jack again, just here to give you a little bit of a spiel about Extra Life. If you don't know what Extra Life is, it's a fantastic charity, it's part of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, and guess what? You can help out by heading over to extra-life.org and signing up, and you can actually raise money by playing games, which is kind of the tie-in here, Um, and a lot of people think that Extra Life is specifically for video games, but that's not actually correct. We do all kinds of games. So, you know, outdoor games, (laughs) board games, tabletop, role-playing games, kind of like what we're doing on this show. And uh, 
yeah, I, mean, I just want to let you all know that Extra Life actually has a tabletop appreciation weekend where people can kind of plan to get together and play tabletop games. It's really great. Um, and this year it is on August 24th through the 25th. So I highly encourage you to check it out. If you're into board games, if you're into the kind of role playing that we're doing here on this show, maybe put something together with your friends, you know, have play some D and D do some shadow running. Um, it could be really, really fun. And you could do all of that stuff while also raising money for sick and injured kids all across the United States and Canada. So head on over to extra-life.org and you can learn how you can be a part of that. And I highly encourage it. Um, also for this podcast, um, if you like what we're doing and want to see more of it, uh, please support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash best games period. Um, also, if you become a backer at any level, um, you get access to the full sessions. Uh, they aren't necessarily as well polished as uh, the individual episodes, but you will get a huge head start on um, where we are in the story of the campaign that we're playing. Um, also, as part of Tabletop Weekend, we will probably be aiming to conclude Dragon Guard during that weekend, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And thank you for listening to all of that, and once more, back to what's going on, where they're getting killed by a, dra a, a dragon rider, not a dragon rider, a wyvern. Wy wyvern? Wyvern? Wyvern Rider. However you say that. Anyway, they're getting killed by that. Let's go figure out what's up with that. Is it a wyvern? It is actually. <sighs> you're since you're trained to this is your favorite enemy. You you understand when as soon as you see it pass that it is a wyvern. Oh, cool. I and point it, up and say wyvern, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it smacks Barfus as it passes with uh, a halberd. Oh, I got, rude! I got I got seventeen on my initiative. What the heck is up with your dice? <laughs> Way to die! <laughs> It's, got, it's made of metal. I'm not really sure like what I'm supposed to do. I, had, I, got, I got six. So. Loaded. Well, I got I got 15 and then my initiative plus two, so 17. I got okay. I got 20 total. So oh, I got 19 plus okay. One. Cool. Okay, uh, Barfus, you take 15 points of damage. Oh, what? From this from this halberd I'm just, as it yes. passes you. Oh, yeah, you. it hit you. That's yes. right. Yeah, you got smacked. Um, you need a flyby on me. And now the... Alright, I have 16 HP. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> if we went to Vern, we would have to do it this Yeah, morning. we would have. <laughs> Something would have a happened. Ryver Ryvern and it's a Wyvern and it's Rider. Oh, it has a Rider? Uh, is, is, is the Rider a Cobalt? I don't know, maybe. Let's see. Is it a? Is the Rider a Cobalt? Uh, no. It appears no. to be an armored Dragonborn. It must be weird. It's like, it'd be like Goofy riding on Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your thought? <laughs> As we're getting hit I mean, by oh, it's basically it's like <laughs> Scratch is just like, huh, that, that's strange. It's like It'd be like me right. Like it'd be like me riding a panther. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like if I had a panther and I hopped on top of it, that's what that No, be. it's literally like sniff. If you yeah. We already <laughs> had this discussion. Chance. He never had a chance to grow up to get that big. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, what what is Scratch gonna do in response to this? Okay, I can control. Wait, no, Sumi and I are sharing an eagle, right? Yes. That is correct. Please don't. Okay, who's please, please who's, don't who's steering up. the eagle? Like, am I in the front? I, I'm gonna assume no, Sumi's steering the eagle. <laughs> I summoned this okay. eagle. All right, no, Sumi, I need you to fly me up against because I want to strike it with uh, my my ghost hand. <laughs> You're just gonna so slap I'm, I'm it. Gonna, so I'm gonna ignite that thing now, like. Well, whoosh. I mean. 
Remember, there's a wyvern and a rider, so... Also, yeah, you're I'm, about I'm, 500 feet up. So... I mean, so... Well, I mean, I'm gonna fly, like... It's like an aerial battle, right? So I'm gonna, like, fly up on him. Yeah. So, like, get close and slash him. I'm... I'm for the purposes of this battle, I'm gonna say that you both can control this eagle. Thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm not yeah. I'm not really counting the e- the eagles aren't able to attack. They're preoccupied with keeping you all aloft and you can use their movement as your own. So, okay. so you need to steer Pidgeot over here and just like like just get me. Like try to fly like parallel to him so I can just get like a good slash at the rider. Yeah, you're able to do that. Okay. So I'm going to ignite my ghost hand sword. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'm going to do that. So Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Great sign. <laughs> you, um, your good roll was only so you could go first. Yeah, I feel like I'm like I'm like the anti Kyle. Um, <laughs> oh uh, no! So I rolled ten to hit. Okay, that doesn't hit. Uh, mm. It it's able to pull away just in time. Mm. And uh, Barfus. All right. Potion. <laughs> I don't have any potions. What? Do I? Do I have potions? Uh, check your equipment. I don't know that you have potions, to no, be honest. No, I don't have any potions. Crap. Yeah. So, um, hmm. Hmm. You have healing word. I do have, I have mass healing word. I can heal you. Can, can yeah. I, as a DM, make, make a suggestion? Yes. Um, you might you might not want to be five hundred feet up in the air. Yeah, You're but, running out of oxygen. No, I'm, I'm just <laughs> saying no. if you happen to get knocked off, that would give us a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, you would we also, take we a d six for every ten feet. So you yeah. would take fifty d six damage. If we if we fall, we we're dead. No, the eagle can catch us. <laughs> uh, I will. I will roll to see if that happens, but it's uh, it, not the most likely situation. Like as soon as we fall, it'll dive bomb and just try to catch <laughs> yeah, us. So, all right. I use I use blind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I which use, I use blindness on. Uh... Oh, she's using the dragon. Yeah, that's I was. That's what I was thinking. Uh, I'm going to actually. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to use a higher level of blindness and uh, and blind both of them. Okay. <laughs> Super blindness. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, right. that's, I think that's level three blind. All right. So constitution saves? Uh, con is uh, 13. Fail, fail, okay. fail. Uh, let's see. So fail. The, the, ry- the wyvern uh, fails... And becomes yeah. blinded. The rider, however, does not. And so, what exactly does that do? <laughs> <laughs> we like, haven't what does had that to mean? do this before. Yeah, sorry, sorry the, for sorry for throwing this at you. It's fine. But but you know it's what? a good choice. Like, yeah, the, but... the wyvern, pa- <laughs> the, the the wyvern panics and bucks off the dragonborn as he can't see. And... It occurs it occurs to you that uh, this might have been the shape you saw far up in the clouds. Um, when you noticed the birds earlier. Okay. So it's blind. Uh, are Good. you going to be moving at all? Uh, I, uh, I, I motion towards the other two to, you know, move downwards. <laughs> okay. Like, like we're running out of time. Like I knowingly, I knowingly say this, but you know, I motion to them that we need to okay. get on the ground. We should capture the dragon burn and ask it. Why burn? Boo. Boo. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. No. <laughs> I can imagine that this wyvern is thrashing violently, being unable to see. <laughs> How long is it blind for? It's pretty. It's pretty confused. the The spell lasts for a minute, I believe. Oh man! Yep. And yeah, we gotta go. It can save at the end of each of its turns. Though I won't. Um, I think maybe I'll start that next round. Minute. That's it for super blindness. Okay, so it can't see anything, and it has disadvantage when it attacks. Are we moving uh, down? Well, uh, Kyle is. Um, 
Barpus and I, and I motion I motion towards you two to do the same. So I don't know if you're moving down, but I would <laughs> hope that you will, because if we stay in the air, we're gonna die. <laughs> so you if can, we choose, you if can, we choose to listen to you, you can move down at a rate of eighty feet per movement. Okay. So, um, let's see. It is now the wyvern's turn, and it's going to. Uh, uh, first, it's going to roll just a chance die to see which one it's going to try and go after. Uh, it's going to go after Gnome Sunni. Mm-hmm. And not that it can really tell, but the rider is kind of like the, the, Steering. the bond between rider and animal. Oh my gosh, it, Avatar. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't like that. So <laughs> it flies over its stinger raised to strike. Wait, 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 wait. When did wyverns have stingers? It has a stinger. What the hell? I don't know this lore. <laughs> we don't know um, it. We don't respect it. Yeah. Take Slump. it back. <laughs> <Slump>. <laughs> so it, it raises its hind claws and uh, makes an attack at Gnome Sunni. And misses. What's your AC? 12. It is actually able to hit you. Oh, great. With, with claws. Uh, the stinger, however, goes wide. It misses with the stinger. And you take 17 damage Yay. from these claws raking across you. But you're able to uh, maintain hold on your bill. I'm glad you're in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the... Uh, the the dragonborn rears back, lifting up its helmet, and breathes a bunch of noxious energy out of its mouth. <sighs> its fumes wash over just just the eagle and Nomsuni and uh, <laughs> uh, Scratch. Roll me a dexterity save, I believe. Yes, dexterity save. Dexterity. Yes. Two can play in that Ooh. game. <laughs> oh crap, where's dexterity? Dang it. Oh my god. Why do the dice hate me? Why does the virtual dice not like me? Uh, dexterity, I got dexterity is in your eight. top bar with strength and constitution and stuff. Yeah. So I got a five. Because okay. I just... I can't win. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> don't, you take, take, don't take Scratch to a casino. Ever. You take 11 damage. Uh, I got 17 I wherever my dexterity is, uh, 17 okay, or you, 18. you pass. Yay. You pass. You actually, t- you take, um, three damage. Okay. Because of your resistance against poison. Yay. And it's now your turn. All right. Hmm. One hit kill. <laughs> That would be nice. Barfus, do you want me to heal you? Oh, and what? we're moving downward, by the way. Yeah, we're we're yeah. moving we're moving downward. Um. So you're now four hundred and twenty feet above the ground. I'm... Blaze it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, because I'm at, I'm still at thirty two HP, which is more than you have. So I'd rather heal you if you want healing. Um... What are your other options? I suppose I can't use Entangle from 420 feet in the air. Yeah, I don't think it would work. Uh, is it cloud? Is it cloudy? It's pretty bright. <sighs> Man. But cl- but is it clear? Like yeah. is there clouds or? No, it's I was like, pretty oh, clear. I, can, I was saying, assuming you can manipulate the clouds. This is water. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Not a whole lot. You could shoot fire. I could. I can. <laughs> I can fails. do that anyway. Yeah, you could. Um, or I could heal with uh, my turn. I leave. I leave the decision up to you primarily, but I think. Uh, I think it would be. I think. Quest- it, question. Yeah. Yes. Just, just throwing this out there. I'm fairly sure that last time you guys were able to obtain 
um, some magic items. Uh huh. That's where you got the armlet, right? Yeah. Yes. And you also got the the there's a fire the wand of fireballs which I have, and then I have the shield okay. as well. Gotcha. Okay, just checking. Iggy. Um. In the air, I'm I'm not as fun. Uh, I, I have a I have a question. Um, yes. My guardian shield is it shiny? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I'm just gonna heal Barfus because all I got is fireballs. All right. I'll heal him with my second level, which is two d four plus two. So, all right, ten. Yeet! Thank nice. you. Nice. And we're back. <laughs> yeah. We're back to scratch. All right. Um, I'm going to use my longbow. How are you planning on yeah, using can, your longbow? Can you use that? Oh, well, I mean, oh, well, because my my ghost hand. You don't have a ghost hand. You have a ghost short sword. Yeah. Can I like? Am I able to like unignite it and go back to hand form? And, like, there is will, there or? is no hand form. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Never mind then. I'll just throw the bow at him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we'll do what I did again. We're gonna do a drive-by sh- ghost short sword strike okay. on the, uh, the right. I'm gonna aim for his head. I'm gonna try to like lob his head off. Okay. Clean strike. The way I'm kind of visualizing this is that Gnome Sunni and Scratch's eagle is kind of circling down, spiraling down, mm-hmm. as opposed to Barfus's eagle, which is just kind of going straight down. Like just dive bombing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. On, give me a good roll. Yeah, finally. <laughs> what you so roll? I got Twenty-one total. Woo. Yeah, that hits. Mmm. Cut the head off. And let's see. So plus one. Give him the chop. Five damage. Okay. As you fly in to uh, attack this rider, almost with like a trained, uh, a trained movement. It swipes at you uh, and hits with this halberd. The it's rider wielding. swipes at him? Okay. Yep. Doing 13 damage. I got it. Awesome. <laughs> 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 What's your HP at? Uh, 18. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Barfus. All right. Let's see. I... Uh... Hmm. 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 I, uh... Hmm. Uh, are they within a ten-foot radius of the Dragonborn? Um... I would assume it was kind of like a flyby attack, so they're probably outside of that radius. Okay. Um. Okay. I uh, I use shatter. Okay. And I point it towards the general like vicinity of where the dragonborn <laughs> and the wyvern are. Okay. Uh, that requires a constitution of 13. Okay. The rider fails, and the wyvern saves. Uh, it does 10 damage. Uh, I got 3, 3, and 4. That was, uh, three, uh, 3d8. Okay. And that means, uh, a creature takes 3d8 thunder damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Okay. So... The rider takes 10 damage, and the wyvern takes 5. Mm-hmm. And I still okay. continue moving downward after stopping to do this. <laughs> okay. Just, uh... Uh, and also, a non-magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes damage if it's in the spell's area. Yeah, you you set, you see a bunch of like foodstuffs just get knocked off of the... Uh, the like riding pack 
yeah. of this wyvern rider. <laughs> you, you stole his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you can eat? My ass. <laughs> the wyvern dives onto... Let's see. Uh, Gnome Sunni. Oh my goodness. Uh, is, it still, is, no, is it still blind? It's still blind. Okay. It's still blind. So it's at but a it's disadvantage. It just, it just, it just it's, knows me. Yeah. Its remaining senses have been heightened. Oh, uh, let me cast that. Okay. Um, the, this time it goes for a bite and <laughs> takes a chunk takes a chunk out of Gnome Suni's shoulder. Mm. Uh, but again, misses with a stinger. Oh, I, I, don't, I, don't like this, I don't like this multiple attack bullshit. Mm-hmm. Chunk. <laughs> you don't want that stinger. Alright, what's what's my HP? Damage. Uh, so you take... <laughs> Apparently I'm shoulderless now. Uh, 14 damage. No, no, you just have a giant bite. A giant bite mark. <laughs> Monch. It, it's going to be a really cool scar one day. Cool. Can't wait. You're all covered in cool scars. <laughs> Are they cool, though? Really? So, yeah. Um, the... A severed arm. It's a cool <laughs> scar. <laughs> the... <laughs> uh, the... Creature... The, the dragonborn on the back. Meanwhile... Um, holds up its fist and kind of does like a fist pump motion and suddenly <laughs> <Yeah>! is <laughs> and suddenly is covered in um, a familiar blue light emanating Uh-oh. from the surface of its armor. Oh, this bitch going, better not. It's going Super Saiyan blue. <laughs> <laughs> it went there. I, I remember this bullshit. And uh, that's all it does. And now it's Gnome Sunni's turn. Um, well, I'm going to heal. i um, going to use another second level. Uh, I got eight. All right. And so that's a bonus action because you're using healing word, right? Yes. So you could do something else, too. <laughs> okay. I'm going to throw can, a fireball. Can, yeah, you can use a cantrip. Throw a fireball at. Hmm. Let me think. By the way, the the wyvern saved, so it's no longer blind. Hmm. Don't like that. <laughs> um. Shoot. Hmm. If I were to theoretically throw a fireball at its wing, would that do any sort of damage to its flight? It could. Okay. Hmm. I'll do that. So 15. And All then right. 2d8. I rolled a 3. And okay. And a 2. Great. All right. So you do 5 damage. Uh, the wing smolders, but it looks relatively intact ish. But it does seem like you have done some damage. <laughs> Yay. And it is now Scratch's turn. I probably should have used this earlier, but I'm going to use Slayer's Prey. It's my bonus action. Okay. It's going to des- designate one creature I can see within 60 feet. And the first time each turn that I hit it with a weapon attack, it takes an extra 1d6 damage. Okay. And it lasts as long... It lasts until I finish a short or long rest, or if I target another monster. By the um, way, um, I should see. note, I, I'm not sure, because I know... Dragons are your chosen enemy, your favorite enemy. Mm-hmm. Um, wyverns count as like being in a dragon class. So if yeah. you have any special abilities that kick in, especially for fighting dragons, um, uh, those would do so. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I get advantage on survival checks that track favorite enemies, as well as on intelligent checks to recall information about them. Um... And then language stuff. I don't see anything for combat, per se. Okay. So you do Ooh. an extra d6 of damage? Yeah. Okay. With us. So I'm going to target the same wing that Naomi did. Okay. And I'm going to do my, my short sword arm thing. All right. Because 
Come on. I need a new parachute. What the? So <laughs> I rolled a 10. Okay. Uh, you, you miss slightly. And uh, the the rider like turns uh, her pole arm, her halberd, and smacks you with the handle, doing uh, four damage. Oh. It's polite of her to use the handle. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Barfus's turn. All right, let's do this. You time to barf on these guys. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna use Earth Tremor. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, as of this turn, you're 340 feet above the ground. All right. Um, hmm. I uh, I have a question. Do yes? do either of these creatures look visibly wounded? Can I discern this or no? Uh, roll perception. Shit, my dice fell. Hmm. Curses! <laughs> it probably landed on a 20. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got a 4 plus my perception, so 8. What? I know. Uh, here, I mean, as far as you can tell, the wyvern seems relatively unfazed. Uh, you can't really tell about the rider. Okay. Streak is over. I know. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't a critical, a critical throw, if I may. <laughs> I'll allow it. Yeah, I'm going to cast uh, second level blindness, deafness again. Okay, trying to hit both of them. Yep. So it's Constitution save. Okay. Um. The, again, the uh, the wyvern fails, mm -hmm. and the rider succeeds. Okay, with an, a net twenty, by the way. What the fuck? Stole your throw. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the wyvern is blind once more. All right. Hit that, um, hit that cast button. And again, dive diving. Um, the wyvern is going after Barfus this time. Bitch, better not. <laughs> Diving. He better not. With with claws outstretched. He better not. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. <laughs> Good thing you blinded this thing is all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of dice being rolled. So the, the, the claws miss you. And as you take a sigh of relief, the stinger comes up and plunges oh, into your no. stomach. Oh, oh no. gosh. Um, Got stung. I'm going to need you to make a, a constitution save. Oh, man. You got to play a dream sequence now. 19 uh, plus. Whew. That's good. 19. Okay. Okay. And he's back. Uh, so you take 10, <laughs> 10 piercing damage. As this thing plunges into you, um, and you start to feel like you're f being filled with this um, oh, non-consensual substance. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um, and then you take another eight damage from poison. I don't like that. In in fact, in like a weird anime style, you can see like there's like a bulbous amount of fluid that's pumped into your chest. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> um, and it's Namsuni's turn. Oh, I, sorry. Um, the the sky blade. Uh, More like the suck blade because he sucks. What does she do? She sucks. <laughs> she points at. She's gonna leave Namsuni alone. <laughs> Actually, all of us, since we're doing pretty bad on health. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I... <laughs> she just like, she feels sorry for us. Like you guys, suck. <laughs> yeah, they just brought to her. Yeah, she's like, hey, takes mercy, just pity on us. <laughs> she points at Gnome Suni. Yay! And speaking with a magical force, just says, "Jump!" Oh God. Now I need you to roll a wisdom save for uh, me, please. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 
Oh no, oh. this isn't what I think it is. Uh... Yeah, this is like a suggestion thing. <sighs> Crisscross will make you jump, jump. Oh my god. Sky blade will make where you the... jump. Where the? Okay, where the freak is wisdom now? You it's should have a with... plus two, I think. Okay, we'll just go with that, since it's not that great anyway. Eight. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So. Can I just be like, on, uh-uh? On your next turn, uh, uh-uh. you're going to have to jump. Is Scratch smart enough to, like, grab me? Yeah, do I know that that's what happened to her? Nah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I feel like you understand the context of what's going on here. As a former mind control victim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have yeah, some I've seen this before. Um, so it's actually Gnome Suni's turn. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm jumping. Cool. Okay. Does that mean so, I can't do anything? Uh, so you throw yourself off <laughs> this eagle. Thanks, Scratch. Um, what? You, what? <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> actually, what are you doing, Gnome Suni? Actually... <laughs> Actually, yes. uh, I need you to roll me another wisdom save. Oh, God. I was hoping you would say I need to roll athletics. I need to see how high your vertical is. Nine. <laughs> With a plus two? Yep. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, you're jumping <laughs> off. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> so... Don't sue me. What, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like... No! Scratch, you are in a position to attempt to stop her. With one arm. <laughs> you grab my blade arm. <laughs> <laughs> you reach out instinctively with your blade arm and stab I her on the way that down. Hey, Scratch. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. Scratch, so you have... He's right-handed, he's and he's, it's on his left arm, so... You have an opportunity I mean, to do something. Oh, I guess, yeah. Let's let's yeah. assume you have enough understanding of yourself to not reach out with your blade arm. <laughs> yes, that's fine. Just grab, just grab the blade. Okay, so I get a chance to react to this. Yeah. All right, so d twenty. I mean, so what do you? How do you want to try and do this? Would it be Don't like... you dare fail. <laughs> that's all <laughs> I can say. Like... <laughs> if, if I he, mean, you're talking if... to the wrong person, but. <laughs> 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 Would Naomi, it be dexterity? Naomi, if he, no, athletics, I think. I mean, that's better. Yeah. So I think, all right, so here's what's going to happen. If for <laughs> some reason, die. if for some reason he fails, I'm going to attempt to navigate. <laughs> Swoop. Yes. But then if he catches you with his eagle, that'll be too much weight for the eagle. Well, I no, mean. No, we, have, we haven't established that. Jack, what, what's, what's the call? So I mean, we don't have to worry about it now. Eagle would just get annoyed, right? You could cross that bridge when we come to it. Let me see. Let, let's see if I fail if, this first. If if Nom Suni were to lose consciousness, the spell that is uh, keeping these eagles summoned would end. Oh shit! <laughs> we're all we're just going to die. We're just going to die right here and now. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like this campaign is over. <laughs> right here <laughs> just oh, with us plummeting to our deaths in the sky <laughs> um okay see this is why we should have went to vote <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I, let the record show that I Scratch Mangy voted for Vern which would have involved staying on the ground just going back to town <laughs> so what just so we're clear so what are you going to do t- for an hour right, in order I gotta, well, I gotta, we're gonna wait. die cool say that scratch mangy was the one that proposed the, the, the less fatal idea anyway i gotta roll to see if i can catch nomsumi before she kills us all well so uh, so first i'm gonna give you an opportunity to do something before she jumps off to kind of like just, interrupt this action and like, possibly just, restrain her in some way Okay, like I see her kind of like, like yeah, she's she's ready, in front like of you, rhyming to yeah. jump, and I can just like hold her, yeah, with my arms, arm or, like, or arm, perhaps use her. some some ability, grab her by the hair. Thanks, Scratch. Um, the the water hair. I mean, just, I'm pretty sure that's the, that sounds like a better deal than volunteer death. <laughs> my water hair. Um, though. 
Is it made of water, or does it just look like It water? might just have water-like aesthetic. Yeah, it's not like... I don't know. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's up to I the mean... anime. Well, in this case, I'm going to say it's, it's just aesthetic, because I don't want to die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, um, I mean, I don't have any... I don't know if I have any, like... You have a action, spell, so to speak, other than like or like a specific just spell it, that would help just, with this. Just tie it, take like, take a, a really look, quick, like solid knot. No, I, I'm looking right now. I see, I see claws. Um, <laughs> um, oh, hmm. snare. I'll make a snare trap on top of the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need something a little bit more instantaneous. On the back. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I have anything. Let's see. Um, don't you got some I rope mean, or something? Do something. I mean, that's not instantaneous. Like, I mean, unless I just... Come see. on, cowboy. Would this... Would, would this count as deception? Like, what is happening to Nomsumi? No. Okay, then never mind. Um, well, she's being deceived into... No, never. Uh, yeah, Good I try, don't though. really have anything like a spell that would really <laughs> apply strike. here i you got a you got a hint from the dm so i would go with it i mean i'm looking at it wouldn't that hurt you though i mean or... it's better than dying i mean unless i roll really high and just kill you with a strike <laughs> <laughs> i roll a nat 20 and just murder you myself <laughs> and then me and barf is <laughs> fall to our <laughs> Like that seems like the way this would perfectly end. Is like that's the one oh, time snap, I roll I'm super good strong. on it. I can't roll good on attacks to my enemy, but when I attack my ally, the dice is just on you my could, side. You could use an unarmed strike. You don't have to use your magical short sword. Yeah, or your claws. You can leave like, my back. I mean, that's literally an you unarmed. Her, you can give her the. You can give her the toe beans. <laughs> yeah, if I were to hit her, if I were to hit her hard enough, would that knock her out of it? Like, isn't that how it, I got knocked out of my deception? So, um, it would <laughs> either it would either that. knock her out of it, or oh, it would, but it might knock her out, or it would restrain her, which is what uh, would probably okay. happen. Would I also be in danger of just knocking her out cold and killing us all? <laughs> I mean, how low is she on HP? I yeah, what is your HP? Let me. Uh, oh, if you have like eighteen HP, like a like oh, using I'm your... at twenty six. We're we're good. Yeah, you oh, okay, you can take a back. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Um, so if I were using snaring strike, like it, I hit her, and then thorny vines appear at the point of impact. Yep. So you then... you essentially are in my in my head. This is how this would go. The mm. the the thorns kind of appear and like tie her down to the eagle. Oh, <laughs> this eagle's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Are the vines coming out of... It's a magic. Like, where are they... It's magic. Does that hurt the eagle? Because it's got like a bundle of thorns on its back suddenly? Yeah, but it, it exists for an hour and then it ceases to exist, so... But I mean, it's a, it's like a living... No, I, 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 I know. I, I know. <laughs> I, I'm not happy about so, like, it, but... It like, freaks, it like freaks out and then... But like, it's either that or we all or die, so... How about I just hit you? And hope it knocks you out of it. But I'm still... Wait. Like, if I just hit you without doing it snaring straight, I'll just hit okay. you Okay, all I'm oh saying is God. you have one shot at this. And if you roll, like, badly, just... just. Which is a very high chance. <laughs> You're just gonna hit me in the back of the head, like, cut it out! Don't you tell me! <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Keep your hands on the wheel. <laughs> Keep your hands on the wheel. <laughs> what you gonna do? Oh gosh! Decide. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> it's not something we do. Man, I guess I'll do a snaring strike. Cause at least if I hit, even if it's not enough to knock you out of it, the thorns will restrain you. I just don't know how the thorns, how the eagle is gonna take to a mass of thorns on its back <laughs> suddenly. And you'll also be trapped in this, so you'll have to deal with that. The aftermath of this too. How long does the spell uh, last? I mean. Um, you have to roll save. You have to roll a uh, strength saving throw to get out of it. Well, but it but it deals a d6 piercing damage at the start of each of its turns. I mean, you can also just not like just make it a happy thorn. You can dismiss the spell at will. Oh, so can I like do it and then immediately be like, "All right, she's restrained," and then take it off? Yeah, like in one turn. Um. 
I would have to wait a turn. You'd, you'd probably have to wait a turn, but... Okay, well, let's do that then. That seems like the... Not even a good plan, it seems like the least terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this Alrighty. has been a session of least terrible options, I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, here we go, Ensnaring Strike. This needs to... So Ensnaring Strike just works, and now you make an attack roll, which I'm gonna say you get to do at advantage, because she's not really defending herself. <laughs> you, you, so <laughs> my first roll was a four um or at least the roll itself so plus the the hit so i'm good and so an arm arm strikes so would be plus four so it'd be eight total yep and then the second roll was a five <laughs> so it's a nine total okay so you somehow miss great yeah <laughs> the person right in front of me <laughs> right like... in front of you two chances and like, it was literally a four to right five. Here. Yeah, <laughs> two chances all right and the dice roller doesn't like me for whatever reason let me you look at cursed. something real quick <laughs> uh <laughs> You should have ridden with Barfus. <laughs> yep. That's my last <laughs> conscious thought before jumping. <laughs> okay. You're, so, not under, you're not even compelled to jump now. You're just doing just it because like, you're just sick of this. Yep, so, bye. Here's the thing. You are currently 320 feet up in the air. Yes. You fall... At a speed of roughly 60 feet per round. Into water, which is my element, right? <laughs> um, I think but that would still hurt, you're, right? You're still going to be you're gonna be airborne next turn. Okay. <laughs> That's basically what I'm getting at. So I can do something in the air. Yes. Create clouds with your water powers. Create a cloud to catch you. <laughs> yeah, the clouds it's are like, so sturdy. It's like the cloud suit in, it's like the cloud suit in Mario Galaxy. <laughs> it's Barfus's <laughs> turn. Do that. <sighs> Barfus, this is all you, man. Use those... Amazing rolls. Mm-hmm. Also, right. your eagles move at eighty feet per second. Right. Just pointing I, that out. I dart, I dart towards Nelm Suni, uh, and attempt to catch her. Roll athletics. Okay. I'm sure. Um, are you catching her with like your hands, or are you just trying to like get the eagle under her so she like <laughs> that she just land and hit the eagle, which that would probably be bad. But um. I don't Whichever know. Whichever gives a higher yeah. <laughs> what, like, success rate. Or, or do you want the eagle to try and catch her? Oh. Well, like with well, like, like with, with its, its claws. Feet? Yeah, just like catch catch her in its in its feet. I mean, I guess that would be the what? most do, secure way to catch her. Do, uh, how how much HP does she have again? Well, I mean, it, it, wait, they're just, her animals. They don't I necessarily do. have to attack her to catch her. I'm just I'm just like, I mean, on, the, like on the off chance that they have claws if she's gonna take damage. Uh, I can tell you that that she won't from these animals. Here's what's going to happen. Okay. You gotta roll on that. <laughs> um. Okay. What I want to do is. So it, so let me ask: If I direct the eagle to attempt to catch her, uh, do I still retain an action? Uh, yes, I I would say that that counts as movement and an action on its part. Okay. And you would still be able to do something. Okay. No pressure. Just air. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. If there's ever a time to be Barfus, this is it. <laughs> Again, no pressure at all. All right. <laughs> here's here's what I'm gonna do, okay. and this uh, this is this is so ballsy. Uh, oh. Uh, um. I mean, are you not just gonna try to catch her with the eagle feet? Uh. Okay. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going, I'm going to cast level four sleep on the on the uh wyvern and its rider and i'm okay. going, Wait, i'm going what? to yeah i'm going to direct uh, and i'm going to re- direct my eagle to catch nomsuni all right 
Uh, <laughs> Swift, are you doing sleep? You're doing sleep first and then yes. going to catch her? I guess. That is... All right. Wait, yeah. how come? So, uh, well, so here's the thing. I uh, rolled to see if the eagle would catch Gnome Sunni. Okay. Yes. And it rolled a nat 20. Woo! So that was a good decision to have it do that. Yay. <laughs> so Gnome Sunni is safe in the eagle's claws. Am I conscious? Just pissed off right now? Yeah, you're, you're conscious. You As soon as you jumped, you regained like full control of your faculties. <laughs> what, a, what a cruel spell. That's so mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, you don't realize what's happening until it's and, too late. And roll your sleep <laughs> stuff. Right, um, let's see. Uh, roll 5d8, uh, and if I roll it two levels higher, I roll an additional 2d8 for each slot level above the first. So, so 9d8. Uh, yep, Jeez. 9d8. All right, uh, I'm just going to use the thingy. Mm. No, not 9d8. Scratch. Not 9D8 scratch. Okay. <clears throat> like, scratch just yells, good catch! <laughs> No, Masuni flips him the bird. <laughs> like, you couldn't bird, catch so, me yeah. from right there. I mean, I can't. I, I technically can't see you because you're underneath this giant bird. I'm, I'm yelling. I rolled. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a forty-two. Okay. Um, as you do that, the rider just suddenly slips off. Just seems to slowly kind of wobble a little bit in her her mount. And slowly falls off, uh, but is caught as if by a small harness uh, that is keeping her ankle tied to... That's so smart. We should have done that. (laughs) (laughs) To be fair, we weren't trained for this. (laughs) I mean, we should have thought of that anyway. Her literal job title is Skyblade, so I'm sure they've got... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> They've got protocols for this kind of thing. The the wyvern, however, seems unaffected. Okay. Of course. So of is course. she like dangling? Yeah, she's like, dangling. Upside down by the ankle? Yep, she's dangling off this thing by the ankle. And she's asleep. Uh, and she's asleep, seemingly. Oh, so we should beat the shit out of her. Just pinata. Uh, so she is now. And also, the uh, wyvern is still blind. So. <laughs> Can, wait, we could... We could just escape. We don't have to kill her. Like, she's asleep, and the thing's blind. <laughs> like, we yeah, just leave. Like, let's, can, can we, but yeah. can we leave? <laughs> I don't see why not. Okay. Yeah, like, there's also, no reason to keep fighting. Also, your giant eagles only last for, like, yeah, we've only 13 got, more minutes. Yeah, we don't have that much okay. time left for you. <laughs> oh yeah, God. like, she is she is incapacitated. Let's just go. Yeah, we're out. All right. We, fl- we hit the flea I'm button. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Uh, how long does your sleep spell that. last? Uh, sleep lasts Forever. one minute. All right. Oh, okay. So are you just are you just dive bombing the ground as fast as you can to like get out of visual range? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you kind of yeah. have to. Yep. <laughs> we don't really have much of a choice. I'm almost. I'm almost dead. Um, I'm we, in we've, ta- we've eagle taken. Claws. Yeah, we've taken too much damage to really continue this battle. <laughs> All right. In my opinion, what is what does everyone else think? Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I, I agree. am incapacitated as well. We can't at least, like I said, like, and our eagles are about to expire. So. Okay, you all land down on the ground, and I assume take cover. Yeah, like we're still, we're in still in the woods, right? You're in the deep woods now. <laughs>